All right, well, I guess just try our best. Yeah. I'm trying. Which one? Okay. Which side? Either. Okay. This guy's really roughed up. Yeah, he is. There he is, there you go, good job. He had a lot of air in there. He had a lot of it. All right. Thank you. You gonna be able to get a good throw from right there? No, no I'm not. I'm gonna have to go further down. Come on, buddy. Take off. Take off, buddy. He took off. Good job, son. Yeah, he took off. Yeah. It took the air out. Yeah. 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 Uh, What's the YouTube name? Uh, uh, something Cristo, right? Soy de Cristo. Sí. Soy de Cristo, sí, yeah. Sí. I have the church for me. Vamos a la iglesia. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Sí. Another one. Oh, yeah. well, That's where it came from. Mm -hmm. They threw they threw it back, uh -huh. and it was floating. I mean, the, the next the next uh, week. Swim off or what? Yeah, he swam off. Yeah. We, nice. we, uh, my son was able to pop his bladder and we heard it come out. Yeah, because it was like kind of trapped right there. It, it, was, it, st it was there for a long time and then it finally tried to swim away. When they were chunking rocks at it, he had no other choice. To swim away. Yeah, it's sad when they come out. And, and then I'm not going to say they don't know what they're doing. I mean, obviously they're catching fish, but I mean, come on, man. I don't, I don't think it's a matter about like catching fish. I think it's like a respect for the the fish, the resource. The, the fish, yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the beautiful Upper Texas Gulf Coast. We got a nice, calm fall day with a cold front that is still lingering around, and uh, we're gonna fish these rocks here in a, uh, a well-known fishing spot known as Texas City. This is the dike and uh, it's a four long structure that comes out into the uh, Galveston Bay. Uh, usually you can take advantage of black drum, red drum, and then some of the smaller species if they're going to be out here. But uh, it's been a while since I've been out on the water so uh, let's see what happens. Get the guy at the bottom since he's going to be docile. Not too, too docile, huh? Just split this guy in half. Just like that, he's dead. Hopefully it was uh, relatively painless. chop that little swimmer off and then what we do is I'm gonna throw them out there with the claw
normally I'm going to clip the claw off, but since we uh, we have small crabs, I'm going to send them out there with the claws on. You can take yours off if you want, son. To hook them, all we're going to do is go through that little swimmer right there that we chopped off. That's a very tough part of the crab. And then we come out through this little second segment right there at the bottom. It leaves a lot of exposure for that hook and we're ready to cast out. I hit right on that little color line. There's a dirty water you can see. And then just beyond that, if we had a polarized lens on the camera, you could see that color line. So this truly is one of the easiest styles of fishing to possibly do. You cast out there and now we just sit down and enjoy the scenery, wait for something to come along and bite this fella. That's it, y'all. It's been a little over an hour since we had to mess around with that black drum. But right as we started doing that, that's whenever our timer went off and we're not gonna waste any more time here. I'm gonna go find somewhere else to go. Let's get this in. Yeah, some little fellas. All right, let's get our stuff put away and we'll get started. Spot number two, I'm gonna keep our fingers crossed, stay here for about an hour and a half maybe. We got some guys out here that were saying that it's kind of a slow bite, but they are catching some black drum off of uh, fresh dead shrimp, so. We'll see what we can do. Don't really have the ideal setup. Christian does, he's got a two ounce pyramid sinker. I'm using the Carolina rig right there, two foot long with a circle hook, a little two watt size. And see if we can make it happen with that. I'm gonna cut our crab into small little segments. Go rip off the carapace. Huh? Where's the fish bites at? Inside my, what do you call it? Um, my bag. I'll get it for you in a second. You're gonna put it on? Yeah. Grab smaller so you can the drum small? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's like keeper size is what we're playing with. That's why I was saying. What size black drum are y'all usually catching? Okay. Okay, just making sure nothing's gonna take the rod. Okay. for what, 40 minutes? That'll push us to our hour mark. Oh wow, something's already hitting me. I think I already 
They already got my bait. Yeah. I said I think they already got my bait. Oh, no. He's on. Oh, nice black drum. That is the, the species that we're going for. Got him? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Nice. Showing us up, <laughs> it's, it's beginner's luck. <laughs> He wasn't gonna go anywhere on this circle hook. There we go. They just get rebaited and yeah, nice first catch, y'all. Good keeper sized black drum. Brand new spot that we're coming to. And uh, yeah, the guys that are here have caught a couple of these and that's what they said they were doing. 19 and a quarter inches long, 19 and a half with a pinched tail. That is not a bad first catch. Gonna get him in the ice chest and uh, get rebaited and right back out there. Fresh crab. There we go. Just quartering these guys. They're so small. Right there, just like that, y'all. I'm just gonna hold on to it. Just for the first couple of minutes. Man, he hit it hard too. There we are. Well, he's taking. Yeah, he's. I don't know, but he's taking it though. Oh, it's a nice black drum. He's bigger. One. On crab again? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Whoo, my gosh, y'all. What a way to pick ourselves up from our first spot to right here. This guy. He hit it and ran. Kind of thought it was going to be a red drum there for a second. With the way he was fighting. Engage the drag really quick. Get this unhooked and then we'll talk about the setup that we're currently using right now. Two of them off the same setup. Let's get a quick measurement and then... This guy's gonna go inside the ice chest. Oh, 21. The other one was what, 19 and a half? I think. Uh, I don't yeah, I think it was 19 and a half. This guy goes for 21. Nice. Get a quick photo and rebate, get back out there. The setup that we're using, everyone, is a old 18 Outfitters buoyancy rod, seven foot, six inches long, medium light power. And we've got a 1000 series spinning reel. We have some 20 pound, I wanna say this is 20 pound bear boss. I'm gonna link it in the video description down below. So if you wanna take a look at it and find out exactly what it is, that'll be down there. But that's Veravoss braid. 
and then homemade leader right there carolina rig 3 8 ounce that's uh yeah i think that's 3 8 or a half ounce egg sinker a two watt size circle hook and uh, we're this is the 60 pound Baravas mono filament right there yeah that's what's getting it done two black drums so far that one looks like it's getting hit but it could be the the chop from the water not really it's much of anything fish. yeah i haven't checked that one but yeah let's go ahead and get out of here we got two crabs oh okay that's yeah we yeah to definitely save them try to go do something tomorrow with those guys all right that is gonna do it y'all thank you so much for stopping by watching the video it feels good to get right back out on the water and uh, be able to catch two nice size black drum those guys went inside the ice chest and uh, yeah just cannot complain whenever you come out to a new fishing spot and you're able to make it happen so thank you so much if you're interested in the gear that we use go down into my video description below check it out if you make a purchase from an amazon link we will earn a small commission so i really appreciate that until next time tight lines y'all